There are so many different kind of sub communities of Twitter, and we, we see that every single day. You know, there are people talking about whatever they're passionate about and whatever whatever they're interested in. And dating Twitter is almost like a kind of sub community within that because it's a universal thing. Everyone's you know kind of experienced it, um, and it's a kind of common experience. So what it allows people to do, as I say, is just share with the world or with their kind of close circle the experience that we can all relate to. And we have out of home advertising in four London tube stations, big platform uh, takeovers. And what they do again is really sort of blow up those tweets and make them look massive and, and impactful and make people sort of stop in their tracks. So that's supporting this, allowing people who can't necessarily be there to still experience that. Um, and we also have the Twitter UK handle, uh, Twitter handle, which is actually uh, devoted to uh, dating Twitter for the whole four day period. So it's all nice and integrated. It was important to represent different you know, types of uh, you know, sexualities, different backgrounds, because that's what we see on Twitter every day. It's a, a chance for people to be their authentic selves. Um, so of course we wanted to make sure that all groups are represented. So after the su success of Scottish Twitter um, and the activation we did with Twitter up at the end of a fringe last year, we want to switch our attention over to dating Twitter. It's a fantastic conversation of people talking about the sort of realities and the sort of raw, authentic humour which comes around love, dating and relationships. So the curation of the tweets for this experience was super important for us. So we work with uh, researchers who all come from different backgrounds, trying to make sure that we're reflecting all the different sort of sub-communities on Twitter, pull them together into enormous lists, uh, and then had a really good time going through all of those tweets, trying to find which ones are really funny, which ones are uh, punching up in the right kind of way, which ones are celebrating these different kind of relationship status or sexualities or all the different communities so that when we bring them together as dating Twitter, we are bringing together a community in a way which is accurate and true to the people on Twitter themselves. We're not communicating advertising messages in the way that a brand traditionally would. What we're really doing is using the content on the platform as a way of reminding people, like me who use Twitter already, why we love Twitter. Um, and that is a kind of interesting spin. Sometimes you have to look at something and think, this is too much like an advert, actually let's pull it back, let's make it more true to the tweet itself. Uh, and that's really important for us. We want anyone really to be able to see just the, the kind of wit and humour and kind of honesty um, and authenticity of, of people who use Twitter every day. So every day we see people uh, you know, sharing their experiences on Twitter and, and sort of you know, connecting with people around that. And people on Twitter sort of tell how it really is. And what this is really is an opportunity for anyone who happens to be in the area um, to kind of celebrate what Twitter really is, which is you know, a community of people who are you know, consistently making each other laugh every single day really. We're kind of saying, you know, come and experience it. And that's kind of what I say to people about Twitter all the time. You know, come on in, the water's lovely. Uh, it's really fun and, and you just experience some really interesting uh, and different and fun things. And we just really wanted to bring that to life here.